So again, that Kirby Fighters 2 thing is a little bit of a bust, I have to say. Again, I'm struggling to like figure out what makes it worth $20, but whatever. There might be a part two to that. But for now, let's go back to the Kremlin Islands or whatever it's called in Donkey Kong Country 2. I need to remember to crop the gameplay window with this. Once the game loads up, I will do that. So I'm going to load my suspend point because this is one of those games, like you can save your progress, but it doesn't save your lives and I've got like 50 lives that I don't want to lose. So yeah, we're just loading a suspend point for that reason. Let me just quickly crop this video so it actually looks better. One sec. Bear with me. Right, so let's try this. If OBS can stop freezing while I do this. Right, here we go. OBS, please. When I try to, like, crop or move shit around, sometimes OBS locks up a little bit, which is always fun. But yeah, I'm just cutting out all the black, like, the unnecessary black space, negative space around this that doesn't need to be there. Right, there we go, that should look fine. Does that look fine, guys? That should be alright, I believe. Right, so here we go. We've done the first three areas already. Again, I've been going through this relatively quickly, just because I've got a lot of prior experience with this game. Like, I've, I'm going for 100% completion. So that place is done, Crocodile Cauldron and Creme Quay is all finished. This is where the game starts to pick up in difficulty by a good margin, though, so expect to see me die a lot more this session compared to the last time. So I wasn't a fan of the, like, the marshlands from the previous area, like the theming of it was like kind of boring to me. This area is much more lively. Also, this is the first Hornet level. So we've got Hornet levels in this game, like the source of wasps. I believe there's a, a bonus room up here. So here's a mechanic, like you get stuck to the wall, but you have to like jump off the wall, you can't climb it. There we go. Easy creme coin. I think there's something up there, hang on. Oh yeah, there's something over here, there's like another bonus room. Wait, there's two bonus rooms in this area? Okay then. It's very rare that like, bonus rooms are like right next to each other like that. So that kind of caught me by surprise. There we go. You might as well call that one destroy all the enemies because that's essentially what I had to do there. Like, it was fine, the token, but it was inside the barrel, the, the chest. Which required me to, like, destroy all the wasps to open. Right, so let's do the level for real now that I've got those two. I think there's one more bonus room somewhere later into the stage because I've got two already. So I just need to find... Oh. Well. Could have sworn I held the glide button there, but I guess not. Oh, hey there, Green. Welcome to the stream. You're just in time for some DK. Again, I have a shit ton of lives, but there's a good reason that I'm stockpiling them, because late game... And especially the Lost World, like you saw a little bit of the Lost World the last time I streamed this. Like I shown you the first Lost World stage. That will all be areas where we'll be needing all those extra lives. Blech. When you're stuck in the honey, you can't move left or right. You have to jump out of it so you can't like attack people from the ground when you're stuck in the honey. I want to 
backtrack a second because I saw something I can tag team up towards. Where was it? There is. I think there may be a bonus room up here. Oh no, it's uh, the spider. Spider v wasps, and for some reason the hedgehogs. So I don't know if it's happened yet, but if you get hit with an animal buddy, like if you're riding an animal buddy and you get hit, it's kind of like Super Mario World rules, so your animal buddy starts to like run away and you've got to like quickly jump onto him again to like get control, otherwise you lose him. So if you played Super Mario World, it's exactly like that with like Yoshi. But yeah, this game, this game still holds up as like probably the best game in the trilogy, because I've played all three games in the past. The first game's good, but the second game is fantastic. The third game is not as good, but it's still a pretty great game. The third game kind of feels like a bit of a step backward in some areas, but it's not, it's not bad. Can I go down there? No. Okay, I thought the screen was gonna scroll down there for a second. I think the DK coin is somewhere in this area. It's like off the screen somewhere. Because I think you need to use the spider, whatever his name is. I, keep, I forgot this dude's name. Maybe it's down here. Ah, there is. Yeah, I love this game's theming, like the whole pirates thing, I'm really digging. Like, that's something I've always enjoyed about this game. Like, Donkey Kong Country 1 had, like, just... I mean, it didn't really have any theme to it, it was just, like, a monkey in a jungle trying to get back his bananas, so there wasn't like a, an overarching like sort of like theme that was like being carried throughout the game. It was just like you going through different environments to like get your shit back. In the third game was... The, the third game had kind of a theme to it, but it wasn't as strong of a theme. It was more like exploring these like la particular lands. I forgot what you like, how you describe it, but it's like a certain kind of environment that game had. But again, the theming wasn't strong in that one. But yeah, Donkey Kong Country 2, like, takes its theme and, like, takes it by the horns and, like, goes full, full on with it. it like, takes it to its... T takes it to its, like... How, how do I put this into words? It takes it as far as it can without going too far. And I love it. So I think I've got all the tokens and the DK coin now. I wonder what's up here. Oh, it's just more bananas. Oh, so this is a really long time that I'm using the animal body because usually by now the the sign that like gets rid of it, right? Well, there it is. Usually you have to give up the animal body a lot sooner than how long I've been using that for. There we go. 60 extra lives. Probably more than I really need, but you know. Forty-six percent complete. I think this game's like percentage is one hundred and two percent because I think Donkey Kong Country One was one hundred and one. This game is one hundred and two, and the third game is one hundred and three. 
Right, so here's the main bulk of the level. This is like the amusement park, the Kremlin theme park. So this is like one of my favorite themes in this game. So we've got like a roller coaster stage. Basically, it's the minecart stages from the previous game. But in this one, you've got to hit those uh, barrels with the check marks, otherwise, you'll be fucked. And there goes that fucking Kremlin that tossed that barrel at me, just like fell. Yeah, watch out for the X's. I bet most people that play this for the first time. Oh shit. I bet most people that play this game for the very first time accidentally jump onto the X barrel like I did that when I was younger. Like they put that there to trick you but then to also teach you where it's like you're not supposed to jump for those ones. I actually think the roller coaster stages in this game are way more enjoyable than the minecart segments from the previous game. Got the DK coin as well. I missed a bonus barrel, so I'm gonna have to replay this level once I'm finished with it. But again, once I pick up the remaining shit, I can just like press start and select to leave the stage. Ah oh, shit! That bloody bee. Yeah! At least I got the DK coin, so that's good. I'm going to turn the music up a little bit, actually. I feel like the music should be turned up for this. It's a good song. Let me know if that's too loud. I can turn that down a little bit if need be. Why did I jump for that? The bananas tricked me. Oh, that's fine. We're at the ends. Right, so I have to replay that level to get... I think there's like two Kremlin coins in that stage that I missed. the theme, not to mention the environments, pirate ships, lava mines, swamps. Yeah, this game's got like a very diverse like selection of like environments. Because it doesn't just stick to the pirate theme, there's like a bunch of like other shit they throw in there as well, but every theme in this game is quite unique. And which is funny because like usually with like Nintendo games, especially like Mario games, they stick to you know like the tried and true the tried and true like environments, like you've got the grasslands, the lava the not the lava lands, the desert lands, the water lands, like shit like that, the jungle lands. This game has none of that. I mean, there's a lava area, but that's like early in the game. That's not like the final area of the game. Speaking of themes, here's the best theme in the game again. Sticker Bush Symphony. Love this song. I gushed about, like the last time I streamed this, I gushed about how much I love this song. And I guess I'm gushing a little bit again just by like acknowledging that, but you know, it's a good song. I'll go back and do that minecart one in a little bit, I just wanted to listen to this song again. Secret down here. Alright, so Squawks is in this stage. I love the noise that Squawks makes when you like hit, like when you shoot an egg, just goes ah! Oh, 
Oh jeez, almost, <laughs> almost slammed right into the vines there. Right, so that was the bonus battle I just went in. So Squawks has like, like the flight controls are kind of like when you swim in Super Mario World, like if you hold up while flying, you flap upward faster, if you hold down you flap upward slower. So you have like some degree of like control, like here it is going up fast, and here it is going up slow. So if you need like some precise control like there for example, oh fuck, good thing that battle was there, but yeah, I'm glad there's like some degree of control here for like, aye! Goddamn wasps. I keep calling them bees, but they're wasps. You can also descend quicker by holding down. with that. Again, your hitbox isn't your entire sprite, but it's still barely bigger than the space you have to navigate through. So here's a secret that took me fucking forever to find as a kid, so this bramble wall right here, like right in front of me where I'm standing, hurts you, but this part up here doesn't actually hurt you, so you can jump through that part and now there's like another animal body that I can grab. Well, this time I become the animal body. But yeah, that one, like when I was a kid playing this game, I got stuck trying to figure out where the rest of the ship was and it's over here. Like the DK coin is over here, I believe. It's in there. Gotta be careful because that one small bit is where you're supposed to be going. Again, this is where aiming up and down kind of comes in handy. favourite theme is the forest interlude. Oh yeah, we'll be hearing that later tonight, I think. That's the next area of the game. That's quite a good song as well. Like, this game's got, like, fantastic music all through it, all throughout the entire thing. I may have missed a bonus barrel, I'm not entirely sure. I think this is where I start to, like, miss some of the bonus barrels and have to replay some of the levels to get them. Con. Again, the red bees cannot be destroyed, so you have to like destroy the the yellow ones instead. Right, I think 
think I'm almost at the end of the stage now because I think I'm due for a letter G. Aye! Ah, oh, shit. Alright, we're good. Vultures, please. Yeah. It's like fucking trying to... You, you know those, like, electric... Like, ring things? What would you call them? Fuck, what do you call it? It's, you know you know those, like, electric, like... Oh, uh, how do I describe this? It's like you get a little uh, metal hoop, and you move it, like, a, around a metal line. And if you touch that metal line, you get, like, shocked. What is that called? It's like, it's like that, basically. Like, you're just, like, very carefully just, like, navigating around very fine spaces. By the way, when I was describing what I'm talking about there, I literally held my hand out to, like, gesture moving the hoop around a metal thing. But, I, I, obviously, no one can see that. Did I miss a barrel? A minute. I guess I did miss a, a bonus barrel somewhere. Right, I'm gonna go back to the previous stage. I'm gonna turn the music down just a tiny bit. Just trying to make sure I find the right balance of volume here. Right, let's get let's try to find the bonus barrels in this stage again. I think there might be one down there actually. No. For some reason I thought it was in there. Just gonna try something real quick. Right, just making sure that I didn't miss it there. So I don't know where I know where one of the bonus barrels are because I missed it. Like I I, I saw it. But I think there's like a second one that I didn't see. Right, there we go, there's the first one. May I offer you an egg during these trying times? Right, hopefully I can find the second bonus barrel now. I would assume it's in the second half of the stage, so we'll look around from this checkpoint. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I saw him landing there and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't fall all the way down. Oh jeez, this is moving fast. Ultra speed. There we go. I'm assuming that's everything. Let's start and select and see if that counted. Alright, that one's finished. Good. Oh wait, Bramble Scramble's also finished. Excellent. I thought I missed one. Never mind. Rickety race. Time for some more roller coaster mayhem. Yeah.
I'm trying to swap characters. Why can't I swap characters? I, c I couldn't swap characters on that platform for some reason. I had to, like, drop down and do it. Right, but there's the, the first bonus. Destroy them all. I think I missed one. Is that going to matter? Oh no, it's fine. You can miss one. So here's a trick. If you hold to the left here, you get a, a quick speed boost, which I'll need if I want to get a DK coin because you need to get in first place. I don't think it's possible to get in first place without that. So you just have to know to hold left at the start to get that speed boost. And you have to maintain this this momentum pretty much the entire way through. Ah! Too early. I probably won't be talking too much for this stage because I need to like focus on the timing for the jumps. I want to talk about, after I'm done with this, I'm going to talk about something involving Microsoft and Sega. Like a rumour that's been going around and my take on it. I'll talk about that in a minute if someone wants to remind me once I'm done with this stage. Again, I'm not going to talk about that now, I want, I want to focus. Oh shit. Oh fuck. One more. Cog. There we go. I don't care if I died there, I got the DK coin, I get to keep that. You never knew you could get that speed boost. Also good news, there was only one Kremlin token in this stage, so I just have to like finish the race now. I'm just going to do the race normally now and not have like all that insane momentum because that can be a bit tricky to like make your jumps with it. I guess it is possible to get the DK coin without the speed boost, it's just much harder because you don't have as much time to like cover that much like distance. Because if you can maintain it, that speed boost momentum will like carry you through, through pretty much the entire level. Again, I'm gonna focus here just because, you know, minecart style like jumping is required, so I don't want to like mess up to do this whole thing again. There's no checkpoints on this stage. Like bits like that, for example. Okay, so it is possible to get a DK coin, barely. Right, so I don't need to worry about any Kremlin coins, I got them all. There was only one Kremlin token on this stage. Usually it's two or three, but that was just one, which is fine by me. Alright, so we've got a couple levels left. Oh, good. Fucking Marshlands again. I thought I was done with the Marshlands. I think this is the last Marsh stage in the entire game, so after this, we sh wouldn't have to worry about this theming anymore. Again, this is like my, my least favourite theme of the entire game in terms of like the level design or the level theming. Oops. Sorry, Diddy. So I want to talk about 
this rumour that's been going around right now. I talked about yesterday when I streamed this game about how Microsoft bought uh, Bethesda and Zenimax and all their subsidiaries for like $7.5 billion. Now there's a rumour going around that they're looking to buy Sega, of all people, and their subsidiaries like Atlas and shit. And I, I watched this video that like explains why people were coming to that conclusion because apparently like Microsoft are like dropping hints that they're buying Sega and it's kind of like... Is that a DK barrel? Yeah, it is. So, I'm not going to go into all the details but basically people are like drawing conclusions based off of like fucking weird like probably coincidental stuff that doesn't mean anything. Like, for example, Microsoft announced, like, a, a new blue Xbox One controller that's apparently the same shade as Sonic. It's, like, blue and white on the back. And I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, like, this is my reaction to... This is how I feel about everyone else that's, like, talking about this shit. This, this is how, <laughs> how I sort of look at them. But, yeah, it's like, people are just like, dude, Microsoft's gonna buy Sega, and I'm like, really? I mean, they could, but that, that shit that they're, like, coming up with is the reason, is probably not the reason. Could just be coincidence, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, if you told me a week ago that Microsoft was going to buy Bethesda and Zenimax, I wouldn't believe you, so who knows. Wouldn't know how to feel about Microsoft buying Sega, though. Particularly if they bought them and, like, had basically Sonic the Hedgehog exclusive to Xbox. Like, I feel like Sonic is a franchise that works best on Nintendo platforms, but that's just me. Like, Sonic probably sells best on Nintendo systems. But if, it, if, the, if they do end up, like, buying Sega and, like, the next mainline Sonic game is, like, exclusive to Xbox Series X or whatever, fair enough. It would kind of suck because it would mean I would, have to, I would have to buy a new Xbox to play it, but eh, what can you do? I hope I didn't miss the DK coin. Again, this is the point in the game where I don't remember everything, so I may end up missing a couple of things here and there. These things will like toss me into the air if I let them grab me. Stop! Will that come back if I return? It does, right, that's good. I tried to throw that at him and I hit the barrel by accident. There we go. Yeah, I think the next uh, Elder Scrolls is not going to be exclusive to Xbox because I think that's still contracted to be like multi-platform like PC, PS5 and... Oh shit. Alright, well that's a bust. I think it's still contracted, like, con like Bethesda still contractually obligated to make that a multi-platform game, but the one after that, like Elder Scrolls 7, when that comes out in like 2031 or something, that will be exclusive to Microsoft platforms, so PC and Xbox. Well, PC if they want to make it on PC as well, but um, it will mostly be relegated to Microsoft platforms. I mean, technically PC is a Microsoft platform, so yeah. That makes sense. Oh, there was more cannonballs. Didn't realize that. Whack. Nope. Ah, oh, shit! Ah, oh, you dick. Fuck you. No, I can't grab that G. I mean, I could have them toss me up there, but it's RNG-based, so I'm not gonna risk it. 
Oh, this part's fun. Check this out. Yeah, you see where the DK coin is? It's inside the fucking exit. Now, let me see the pattern before I commit to this. So it's after the banana coin, right? Okay. Extra life banana coin DK. Right, here we go. Nice! Very sneaky place to put the DK coin. Oh nice, I got all the Kremlin coins in that one also. Rambi Rumble. I think this is the penultimate stage before the boss fight. The boss fight is like over to the right sides. Yeah, it would be better if they put it on PC. I just hope that like future Microsoft games will not be like relegated to like the Steam Store. Uh, not the Steam Store, what do you call it? Um like Microsoft's like own like built-in Windows 10 store or whatever. Like just put that shit on Steam. At least that way Steam Workshop can be like baked into the games. So you can have like easy access to mods and also you can like just install your own mods if you wanted to. Plus everybody uses Steam, obviously. Like I use Steam, you use Steam, we all use Steam. Nobody uses the Epic Game Store or the Microsoft Store. I mean, the Halo Master Chief Collection, you can get that on Steam now, so I wouldn't be surprised if the if the future, like, games that come to their, like, platform end up going to Steam, like, directly. This song's good as well. Like, I know I keep saying that for every song in this game, but it's true, they're all pretty good. A little sneaky secret up there. That hook was invisible, but the banana tipped me off that something was there. Secret. Oh shit. I remember the DK coin in this one being very well hidden. I think I know exactly what that one is. It's like roughly at the halfway point, like about here. So you're supposed to go in there to get to the next part, but you can also go over here, and there's the DK coin. So you're probably thinking to yourself, why does that matter? Like, why do you have to go over there to grab the DK coin? Because when you go in this room, you're forced to change into Rambi, and Rambi can't climb on the, the honey. So yeah, you'll go through this room, and you'll see the DK coin up there, and you'll be like, ah shit, I can't, I can't grab it. Because again, he can't climb onto the honey, only the monkeys can do that. So here comes a moment that I remember in this game. It's coming up in a second. Run about here, I think? Not yet. Ah, there is. Just got to run away from this giant zinger. The wasp are called zingers, by the way. I think there's a secret down there. Yep, there's a secret there. I had a feeling. Shit. I tried to charge there by an auto attacked. Mm -hmm. 
fuck. Shouldn't have done that. At least I get to try again. I just got to jump around that battle and break back in. Yeah, fuck the charging. Let's just walk through here. It's probably quicker. Yeah, that's quicker, actually. Quicker by, like, seven seconds. I used the Microsoft Store for Forza Horizon 4. Fair enough. I mean, I've used the Microsoft Store, but I haven't actually bought anything from there. I just use it to, like, download shit. On. Right, so here is the boss, King Zeng Sting. In this boss fight, you actually have to use squawks. So the hitbox on this thing is really fucking small. You have to hit the stinger. Any other part of the body, it just bounces off. I remember dying on this boss so many times when I was, like, younger. I think it's got six hits, but every two hits it like spreads a bunch of spikes towards you. Stingers. Crap. Oh hey, look, 69 Nylet lives. Nice. Blah, blah, blah. Can I speak? 69 lives. Nice. I know every time I hear a different song in this game, I've been so I've been basically sucking the soundtrack's dick. But I love the boss music as well. I love every fucking song in this game. It's all great. One more hit, I think. I forgot if it's like six or eight hits for this boss. I think it's like six. Okay, there we go. Oh no, wait a minute. There's more. Sorry, I thought he exploded there, he just turned into smaller zingers. Yeah, turn around! There we go. Okay, it was nine hits. Right, that's a dead for real now. Get fucked, zinger. King zing. Right, so we've got like three areas of the game left, so we're nearly there, but again, difficulty will start to rise up significantly, so expect to see more deaths. Ghostly Grove. Oh yeah, I love this song. This is the one you're talking about, Green? This one, again, I keep talking about how this game has like a lot of atmosphere to it. This game probably has the best atmosphere, like this level probably has the best atmosphere in the whole game. I think there's a secret up there. Oh shit, was I supposed to do that? I, th I think that dude might have had something for me if I waited. So there's ghost ropes. Ropes that are ghosts for some reason. I don't get it either, but just go with it. If I need to, I'll restart the stage and see what that one what that one jacket guy had for me. If he had anything. He could have had the DK coin for all I know. Oh, I see the barrel. It's below me. Cool. I thought that was like the bonus barrel, but I'll take that.
Oh. Don't mind me if I kill you just so I can get into that bonus room, thank you. I'm noticing there's quite a few bonus rooms in this game that involve you destroying, like, chest within a chest within a chest to get a coin. That's like my fourth one I've seen that does that sort of gimmick. So here's the first new variant of that fucking Kremlin thing. It's a barrel, a TNT barrel. And if it bump, bumps into you, you take damage. So yeah, you have to watch out for those things. There's a bonus barrel. Yeah, that's probably the best way to describe it. It's be beautiful, but also quite eerie. Again, David Wise just knocks it out of the park with this fucking game soundtrack. It's amazing. Once I beat this game, I'm gonna have to, like, get the soundtrack and, like, put it on my pre-stream, like, music playlist. So you can hear some of those songs before the stream starts. I think there's something down there. Nope, there's nothing down there. Whoops. Sorry, that big open space looked like I could go in there. Oh wait, I got everything right, that's fine. There's nothing left in this stage to collect. Except for the Kong letters, but I don't need them. fucking two of those guys now. By the way, when I talked about there was like a scary variant of them, that's not the one I was referring to. There's like a different variant you see in the next area of the game. In in the, the castle. But yeah, we'll get to that. I'll probably get to that tonight even. I don't know if I'll finish, like, fully complete the game tonight. I'll see. But, um... I think I could at the very least get to the next area at the rate I'm going at. So something up there. I mean, kind of, but not really. A whole banana. By the way, when you play this game casually, you better have a bunch of lives because once you come into this area, you cannot leave until you get the Funky's Flight or like, you cannot save the game until you get to uh, Kong College. So you have to beat this stage, and then you have to beat this stage with what lives you've got, and then I think the next one is Kong College, so you have to like beat these two stages casually with whatever lives you've got left up to this point, so it's kind of rough, this part of the game, if you're not used to it. Right, so here is another minecart segment, but it's a roller coaster, but it's a different kind of roller coaster. You'll see what I mean in a second. This one is a, a spoopy roller coaster. And this time you've got to collect the plus barrels to add time, otherwise the ghost will get you. Avoid the negative barrels. There we go. There's a bonus. Don't worry if I don't miss it, if I don't get all the stars, I think they give you more than necessary for this one. Yep, they give you way more for that one. Again, the reason I'm, I'm like, I don't want to like, toot my own horn and say, oh, I'm amazing at this game. The reason I'm like doing so well is just because I played this game so many goddamn times as a kid, so it's kind of like ingrained into my memory at this point. 
when I like when I play Donkey Kong Country one or three on stream someday, I'll probably suck at those games because I've not had as much experience with those ones. Even though I have played them to completion, but I've not like I didn't grow up with those two. I grew up with this one. Right, so this one is just all negative barrels, and you've got thirty seconds. So I think you can get away with hitting one or two of them, but any more than that, and you'll take damage. There we go. Nice! I remember that fucking jump fucking me over. Like, if you miss that, you have to, like, do the whole level again just to get in there. Rolling around at the speed of sounds! Holy shit, look how fast I'm going. It's like Mac 10. Oh shit. There we go. By the way, when I said I was going to need all those extra lives, I think 70 lives may be too many at this point. I don't think I need that many. But you know what? Better to have more than few. Like, too, too many rather than too few. I think the DK coin is right at the end of the stage, so I don't have to worry about looking for that. I think the DK coin is in this room. Yep, there is. Somehow remembered that one. Is there another Kremlin barrel here? First try, by the way, this stage. Again, this was another stage that I struggled on as a kid. Like, I was like fucking seven when this game came out. Like, that's how young I was. Seven or eight. It was like a couple years before Mario 64, wasn't it? So yeah, it was like... 1994. So I was like less than 10 years old when this game released. Good times. Oh. Okay, so remember the lost levels having fucking wind mechanics? Yeah, this game has that as well. But this game changes the wind direction depending on where you are in the stage. So you have to watch out for it to, like, change direction at any moment. But yeah, this level can be done without Rattley, but it's much harder without him. Because there's, like, some really tricky jumps that you need to make. Oh, jeez. Thank God for that extra midair jump when you walk off a ledge. So the second half of the stage, I think the wind, like, will keep changing direction on you. It doesn't matter. Like, up to this point, like, the wind direction depended on where you were in the level. But when you get to certain points in this level, I think it changes left and right on its own. Maybe not for this part. Oh, wait, it, it moves to the right and then it stops at random intervals. In fact, you know what? Why am I, why am I carrying that? I need, the, I need this. It's going to be a cannon to the right. Gonna have to wait for the wind to blow whenever these guys are not in my way. So I had a memory, like there's another memory I had when I was younger with this game. Remember how Nintendo in America, they had like this, uh, 
They had like a VHS tape advertising like Donkey Kong Country 1 and how big of a deal it was back then. Yeah, it, in, in the UK they did like a, a tape like that but it was like for Donkey Kong Country 2. And I used to be obsessed with that tape, like I used to watch it all the time. This was like a few months before the game actually came out, like we got the tape for it and then we watched it. I don't know if I still have that tape, it might be somewhere. I've got like a bunch of old VHS tapes in storage. I'll need to look for them. The, the video's probably been uploaded to YouTube or something, so... Oh. You know what? I'm just gonna do that! I don't care if I die. Got everything in the stage, that's good. Yep! Always get hit by that one for some reason. Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth doing that. Oh. Almost jumped off there at a bad time. Shit. There we go. By the time I'm finished with this game, I'm gonna get 99 lives. So yeah, you have to like beat three stages in a row in order to get to Kong College. It's quite rough for casual players, for people who have played this game for the first time, like myself. Parrot, shoot, panic. I like that pun. Oh, I think I missed something up there. That's fine, I can come back later and get that. So this, this squawks is different, this one cannot attack, and he keeps falling down more, like he cannot fly upwards. So it's kind of like reverse Flappy Bird, where you have to like basically drop yourself down and like guide your way around the hazards. But you can hold the up button if you want to slow your descent, so there's that at least. Or you can hold down if you want to go faster. I think there's a thing up there. Hang on. Trying try to tag team, but I can't. Wait, was that all there was? I thought it was like a bonus up there. So yeah, I think this is the only time that you see purple squawks in this game. It's just for this one level. Just for this gimmick. That's one thing that I really like about Donkey Kong Country 2. Like, it's got a lot of, like, unique gimmick levels. There's a bonus. Donkey Kong Country 3 had a lot of gimmick levels as well. Sadly, I won't be able to keep the squawks. I'll be losing that one shortly. Yeah, I lose it there. Back to using the, the, the eggless one instead. Not really worth going for that, but I went for it anyway. What's the difference between green and purple? Purple cannot shoot eggs and he can only go downwards. He can't fly upwards. Like, purple squawks is basically a parachute. Like, you have to guide your way down. You cannot, like, fly upwards.
that's why that's why the stage has that pun parrot to shoot to panic because it's a parrot but it's also a parachute you get it I think there's a bonus up here yep there is right destroy all the enemies again we can use regular squawks just for this area and then we have to lose them again Smile, you son of a... There we go. I missed the letter O. Okay. Again, no reason for me to go in there, but I did it anyway for some reason. Tricky. Oh, tricky. I was about to say that's a tricky one and I fucked it up. Thankfully, they put a DK barrel right after that one. I think that's the end of the level. I think there's another bonus up here. Oh, no. Never mind. Right, I think this is the final part before the goal. I'll have to revisit the stage because I think I missed the DK coin, possibly. <laughs> oh, that hitbox though. Not worth it. Right, I'm pretty sure that's the end of the stage. It has to be. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so I think I missed the DK coin at the start, so I'm going to go back and grab that real quick. Yeah, I got all the Kremlin coins, so the one part that I missed was the DK coin. Simple enough. Just got to use Dixie Kong to reach it. There we go. Not that I need to, but I'm just going to make Funky Flights free, just because I like doing that. There we go. Right, I think this is the penultimate stage before the boss fight, Webwoods. This is quite a lengthy one, to my recollection. At least we get to hear this awesome forest song again. This will be the last time you hear this one, by the way, sadly. But yeah, I believe the gimmick of this one is that you have to use the spider a lot. What was the spider's name again? Because I forgot. But yeah, the spider will get a lot of usage in this stage. I forgot if it was a DK coin or a bonus stage, but there's like something in this level that's like really well hidden. And I'm going to show you that when I get to it. His name is Squitter. That's, that's a weird name. Squitter the Spider. By the way, I can skip a chunk of this level if I just do that. Hope I didn't miss any bonus shit back there. Probably not. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Right, here comes the square part. I can just imagine a parallel universe where we don't have Twitter, we've got Squitter and the icon is like a spider. I'm, I'm gonna go squit on Squitter now guys, BRB.
I love this part of the song. This is a pretty good song. Pretty, pretty good part of the song, rather. Again, sorry that I keep sucking this game's soundtracks, dick. It's, it's, it's really that good. Like, I think I'm a bigger fan, like, in terms of, like, the two best composers of Rareware, David Wise and Grant Kirkhope. I think I like Grant Kirkhope's work a little bit more, but this is easily my favourite David Wise soundtrack. Again, just knocks it out of the park for me. It's, like, unbelievably good. Yeah, squeets, not squits. I'm gonna post some hype squeets on Squitter. Haven't seen a bonus battle yet, so that concerns me. I'm not sure if I missed one so far. You know, the rate I'm going, like when I started this, I was saying, oh, I could probably finish this in like five or six parts. I might finish this in like three parts if I don't finish it tonight. Let's see, how long have I been streaming for? Three hours? Hmm, I could maybe finish this tonight if I wanted to spend a few extra hours. Maybe not, I'll see how I feel after I get done with the next area. Again, I'm going through the game, game relatively quickly, so who knows. Nothing else down there. So I think I'm coming up to the part where there's like a, a hidden bonus room. But it's kind of like well hidden, like you have to figure this part out. Which again, when I was younger I had no idea that this was here for the longest time. But yeah, let's get rid of these vultures so that I can show you. So there's a cannon dude there that blasts cannonballs, but then he blasts like a really fucking slow one, and there's a reason for that. Like, watch this. The reason that cannonball moves so slowly is because you like to go, you're supposed to go with it, and the cannonball will reveal the secret area. So yeah, I would say that's like one of the most like obscure secret rooms in the entire game. Didn't fucking know about that one when I was younger. Still haven't found the DK coin yet, though. I'm not sure if I went past that. But yeah, again, this level feels like it goes on forever because you've got to be careful with Squitter. Like this one, you can't just rush through it. You've got to take your time with it in general. Oh, that was close. Another secret room there, I think. Oh hey look, it's the rare rare symbol. Nice. I miss the days when rare rare could make a competent game. Those were good times.
Like these days I just shit on Rareware because they haven't they've just been like a shell of their former selves. Oh, there's the DK coin, it's inside the goal again. Okay. Right, let me just pay attention to that, it's after the banana. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's everything then. I was worried I missed the DK coin there, only to find it was at the very end of the stage. Yep, that's everything. Fantastic. Most recently, Rare has been like working on updating. What's that pirate game on the on the Xbox? Sea of Thieves. I streamed. I, I don't know if I streamed it, but I played like Sea of Thieves when it first came out because I had Game Pass. And I wasn't really a fan of it. Maybe it's better now because they've had like a couple years to build it, like build on it, but... I, I just, I kind of feel like that Sea of Thieves was the last straw for me. It's just, that's the point where I just kind of lost patience with like Rareware in general. Gonna make a suspend point. Haven't made one for a while. Right, so remember the Vulture boss from the first stage? Well, he's a ghost now. We actually killed him. Like, could you think, oh, we defeated him, like, we didn't kill him, we defeated him. No, wait, we killed him. This is his spoopy ghost now. We canonically fucking murdered the bastards. Oh! Don't offer me an egg during these trying times, please. Right, phase two. So you have to jump on the vulture that's not a ghost to get the barrel to appear. There you go. So you're probably wondering what happens if I defeat the ghost form? Does he just like go away or something? Like does he... Oh shit. I'll finish that thought when I get to the third phase because I think that's like the final phase. That part's tricky though because of the eggs are like randomly, like the eggs are just randomly tossed at you so you can't really tell where they're going to come from. You either have to get very lucky or just have lightning fast reflexes to dodge those. Oh shit, oh. Yeah, I kind of like that. When Dixie dies, she just loses a life. Lose, she cries, rather. When she loses a life, she cries. I can't. I can't speak. There we go. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize I could bounce off the fucking ghost. Excuse me. I was just standing there, like I was gonna jump over there in advance, just waiting for the hooks to come down. I didn't realize that was gonna be a thing. Oh well. Here we go again. Why, why do I keep not grabbing onto that? <laughs> Sorry, I accidentally pressed down there. If you press down while well, on the hook, you dismount from it. Like, if you press down and jump, you just detach from the thing. Gotta be careful not to do that. Also, after you jump onto the real one, you have to be careful not to accidentally break the barrel with the last ghost that appears afterwards. Right, here we go. Time for the annoying part. The spit. There we go. You can bounce on them if you want, but it's easier if I don't bounce on them. So here's what happens when I defeat him again. The fucker just explodes. Off to the fucking afterlife with you. 
the after afterlife. Go to go to limbo. Right, so there we go. That's this world fully complete. Actually, no, that isn't. I missed one. Where did I miss one? I thought I got all the Kremlin coins, but apparently not. Oh, I missed one here. Right, okay. We need to go back real quick and finish that up. So wait, where did I miss it? Is it down here? Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's in there. Probably not. I guess I missed it somewhere along the way, so I'm gonna have to redo this level till I find it. Got that bonus room. So this area has three bonus rooms, I got two already. So this is the only level in the entire game you get to hear this song. The Spoopy Ghost House song. Oh, you can't bounce on them? Okay. I thought I could bounce on them with the with the, the gold cart thing. Roller coaster cart. Never mind. I'm gonna operate off the assumption that the the one token I'm missing is on the second half of the level. Again, don't need to go down. Why do, why do I keep doing that to myself? But yeah, that door down there, I've been in there, so I don't need to go and do that again. Still can't find it. Oh, shit. Oh. Don't die. Bleh. Jesus. <laughs> that was close. Maybe the bonus barrel is in this room somewhere. I'm going to look around for it. There's no DK barrel here for Diddy Kong. Maybe I need to tag team to reach it. Yeah, I, I can't. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Just still going to have to look for it. I'm going to try looking around at the start again. Maybe it's at the beginning, I just didn't see it. I could be here for a few minutes, so bear with me. Let me just get the DK barrel real quick. Okay, that's weird. There was like an invisible coin sitting there. Yeah, I'm just gonna feel around a little bit, see if there is a barrel here that I'm not seeing.
it's not back here, is it? It might be at the end, but I think I need to get two Kongs to reach it. Like, I think I need to tag team for it. Either that or it's in the middle of the stage and I have to, like, maybe jump off a platform to reach it. Guess we're doing this again then. Again, being up there. Damn negative barrels. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went in there anyway. That fucking hitbox is massive. Really hard to jump over those wasps. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna restart that. I want to have both Kongs for the end of the stage. Yeah, sorry I'm stuck on this one. I've been here for a while compared to all the other levels in the game. It's like I'll find all the collectibles within like five minutes. This one's the exception. I'll find it eventually. If I go in that bonus room, I can just skip those two wasps because I keep getting hit by them. But yeah, we did this bonus room already, so it should be a check mark next to Kremlin coin. If I get that far, nope. Just gotta make sure not to fuck up at this part. There, not touch another negative barrel, otherwise, that will just be bad news. Alright, we're good. Right, so I'm gonna take some time to look for this thing. I'm, I'm assuming it's in this room somewhere. Has to be, right? Maybe it's behind the goal. No. Yeah, this one continues to elude me. If you want to give me a, a general, like, vague hit, a vague hint, feel free to do so, because I don't know if I want to spend too long on this. As much experience as I've got at this game, this is the one thing about the game that I don't remember, so you can kind of give me, like, a vague idea of where it is. Is it in the middle of the stage, or is it the start or end of it? Because it's not here, I can tell you that. Like, the, the DK coin was down there. And I can't seem to find it there. It's near another bonus. Right, okay then. This time I'll try to be more vigilant and look out for it. Actually, I think I saw something there. Hang on. This is probably nothing, but I thought I saw a secret down there. Could have been just me. Nope. I thought there was like a, a track down there.
Never mind. Like, there was one part on the roller coasters where you had to, like, drop down a track to get to the secret. That was not it. I'm just gonna try things until I find it. So maybe it's around here. If you hit the checkpoint, you've gone too far, but that's good to know. So it's the first half of the stage. I wonder if it was down there, perhaps? Yeah, I think I went too far. Yep. I don't mind these vague hints, I don't consider it backseating because I'm like actually asking for help a little bit. Because I'll probably be stuck here for longer than necessary otherwise. Oh! It was up there! Check this out. Boing! I recently played Mario 64. I should have done the Mario voice. Boing! Right, there we go. So I've got all the coins now, finally. Let's take that free funky flights to the next area. Right, so this area is pretty cool. K rules keep. It's essentially like a big castle, but before we get to the castle, we've got another new area to explore, Arctic Abyss. So here's the first ice stage in this game. And yes, ice physics, which is... Not, not the biggest fan of ice physics and platformers, but I can deal with it. I think maybe a secret at the start of this level, somewhere. Oh. Might be over there, actually. Oh shit. Yeah. Just going back a second just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Nah, turns out I didn't miss anything. Those goddamn puffer fish. Oh yeah, Unguard is on this stage, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. Little secret area. No bonus stage though, but just a bunch of banana coins. Oh yeah, this one gives you more stalls than necessary. Just go back and forth real quick to grab the, the stalls. Oh yeah, that's right, some pufferfish just fucking kill themselves to, like, kill you. Kamikaze pufferfish. Oh, you dick, I hate those ninja starfish. They're like this, the big, they're like those, um... Fuck, what do you call them? You know the, the star... You know in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Metropolis Zone, like, the little star robots that, like, explodes? Like, they always put them in the worst fucking possible place to fuck you over, like the enemy placement for those things are a dick. And it's the same for the starfish in this area. How did that not connect? See what I mean by these things? Not a fan of the starfish. 
Did I hit a checkpoint or did I not? Okay, I did. There we go. You have to like go fast enough to grab that one. That was not worth it. Wish I could jump out of the water so I can collect that DK barrel, but I can't. I'm just stuck here now. Maybe now that the water's raised, I can go back there and grab that. Yep, there we go. The orange ones are not so bad because they move in a predictable pattern and I still, I still got hit. Oh. Okay. But yeah, it's the red ones that annoy me just because they like home in on you and they put them in the worst possible places. Of the charging move in this game. <laughs> you know those Lost World levels that I'm going to be doing soon? Yeah, th those, like, there's an ice level in there as well, so that's going to be fun. Ah, didn't react quick enough. So I can kill the walk jaws at least, that's cool. Unguard's hitbox, like, his, like, swordfish, like, nose, um hitbox is very finicky. Sometimes it will connect, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it just feels like it's random whether it connects or not. Because sometimes I'll swear that I'll be like pointing my nose right at them but it doesn't actually hit them and I take the damage. Guess there's nothing over here. Not sure if I got all the tokens, the Kremlin coins here. I may have missed one. Yeah, I missed one. Alright, let's try that again. For a minute there I thought that door that I came in was actually the bonus door. What's that down there? I, I saw something. Oh, it's bananas. You heard the squeaking noise at the exact same time that I killed the puffer fish. Squeaking didn't come from my chair, did it? Or was it something you heard? Like something from your ends? But 
this. I did this one already, didn't I? Yeah, I did do this one. No reason to do this again, but there's no reason to, like, waste time here. It was in the background. Right, okay then. No, it that was close. Maybe behind me, actually. Gotta check every wall. Well, not every wall, but just like certain walls that I could easily like overlook. Let me go back a second. Maybe there's something above me here that I missed. Maybe it's down here. I see something over there. Ah! Bloody things. Starfish. Hopefully I haven't missed it so far. I'm taking my time with this one. Just so I don't like overlook anything. Why did I turn around there? Oh. Okay, it's in there. Yeah, that one was easy to miss. I went right past that without seeing that. I love how it was like right at the end of the stage as well, like we're almost there. Here's another stage where you destroy a chest within a chest within a chest to get the coin. I didn't realise this game had so many of these types of bonus stages. Jesus, there's so many of them! I've never seen three at once. Not that it matters, I don't need to finish the stage, I've got everything, so we're good. Windy Will. Enjoying a burger while watching your stream? Nice, what kind? Here's another good song. So this level has an interesting gimmick. 
so there's wind that blows you upwards. It's kind of like that parachute, like squawks, except you're going upward, not downward, so you have to like guide yourself as you go up. Mushroom Swiss burger from a local place. Yeah, that's a, that sounds pretty good. About a year ago, I had like a takeout burger that was like mushrooms and barbecue sauce that was really, really nice. I haven't had that in like a year. I need to remember what the name of that place is and like order it again. Their food is good. Oh, so I love the, the animations for the characters, like they got unique animations for being blown upward by the winds. So I was just checking something there. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore the Kong letters. There's no reason for me to pick them up anymore. I've got way too many extra lives. There's a bonus barrel. Oh yeah, I got like a menu, like... It was funny, it was like a week or so after Origami King came out, I got like a menu through the mail. Shit. It had like Paper Mario on the front of it. Obviously they're not allowed to do that. I'm, I'm gonna take the death here just so I can try that bonus barrel again because it put me past that. But yeah, obviously companies are not allowed to use that. Like, they're not allowed to like put copyrighted characters on menus because copyright infringement. Like, they're not allowed to use Mario to like advertise your food. But they they can get away with that shit anyway, unless like somebody actively like goes out of the way to tell Nintendo. Oh, by the way, this this one little obscure Scottish restaurants using Paper Mario to them. But nah, nobody cares over here in Scotland, it's fine. If anything, I kind of find it funny that we've got like a, a restaurant that has like Paper Mario on the menu. It's like on the kids' side of the menu, it's like kids' menu and then you see... I, th I think I still have the picture of it, hang on. Do I have this picture still saved on my hard drive? Let me just quickly look for it. I think I have it in this folder here, one second. I don't know if I do actually. One sec. Yeah, I can't find it unless... Yeah, hang on a second. Just uh, going through my photos. I've got a better idea, actually. Hang on. This will be a waste of time, probably, but... Yeah, this is going to be a waste of time. I'll, I'll look for it another time. I don't have the picture on hand, sadly. I think I deleted it from my, like, hard drive. It's on my phone, but it's not on my computer right now, so... I'll look for it later. <coughs> Excuse me. So I had to clear my throat there real bad. But yeah, I'll look for it later. I shown it during my Origami King stream, so it'll be there as well. I don't know how I filled this one the first time I did it, but there we go, it's done now. Right, let's move on. Oh, okay, how did that? Did you see that? Wait a minute. I'd like to call bullshit on that one. 
pretty fucking sure I hit him on the head and not on the blades. Yeah, you see that? What the fuck? I definitely hit him on the head. I guess the salt uh, hit box was still like active for like a frame or something. That's annoying. Nope, I thought it was like a secret off to the side there. But hey, I've got Diddy Kong back now, so it's, it's all good. Yeah, I... Shit. I hope I didn't miss something down there. Oh! Cool hitbox. something down there. I'm trying to kill that dude so that I can look around because it looks like there might be something down there. By the way, the reason I'm not collecting that extra life is because I remember this one part of the level where it baits you into jumping upward but then the wind keeps pushing you upward once you jump so you can't like get back down. But yeah, I think the game does that for a reason because if you jump up there you can't get to the secret. Like this part right here, it puts that extra life there to taunt you into jumping for it. But I think the secret's down here. Maybe. Or not. I don't know. I, I thought there was something down here. Doesn't seem it. Doesn't seem the case. Okay. I was hoping the wind was going to pick me there once I did that. How many lives have I got? Like 80 lives or something? I've still got like a shit ton of lives left over. So extra lives are not a matter at this point in the game since I've got like so many of them stockpiled. Yeah, might as well grab that now. Oh yeah, the reason it makes you do that is so you have to like get past these wasps, that's why it does that. So we haven't even got to the castle area yet, but we'll be getting there soon. Ah, there's the DK coin. Excellent. Oh! So you can hold up to ascend faster, or you can hold down to slow your ascent. So you have a little bit of degree of control going upwards. die here. Squawks is nearby. Ah! The bonus barrel was right at the end. I couldn't jump there because there was a fucking platform above me. 
and the bastard knocked me into the goal by accident. Shit. I'm gonna have to do all that again now. What a motherfucker. Like, sometimes that's worse than dying, like, accidentally uh, missing something and having to do it again. I love sweet potato fries, even though they kind of look like crocodile tongues from James and the Giant Peach. I've not seen that movie in so goddamn long. I kind of like that film. The Extra Life is the full pizza and TMNT. It's impossible. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Like, I, I grew up with that game, actually, but AVGN pointed that out in one of his videos, didn't he? Like, the fucking pizza they put on the insta-kill spike trap just to trick people to try and grabbing it, which is impossible. Oh, shit. I can't, I can't do that. So, wait, wait a minute. Did, is there a secret down there? Because that looks suspicious. Yeah, I'm gonna retry the level. You know, I should have just pressed start and select there, I just realised. Something looks suspicious about that one part with that one banana, so I'm gonna check that out. Yep. Jeez. Yeah, we could be here for a while, trying to get these uh, bonus barrel things. Assuming that I missed one on the way up. Like, because I know there's one right at the very end of the level, I just don't know if there's one after that. Like, if there's one beyond that that I missed, or like one, you know what I mean, like one within the level that I didn't get. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go for the end of this stage first, just so I can see if that was the last one, and then if it isn't, I'll go back to that one suspicious spot that I saw with that banana. No, because there was a bonus barrel down there, I did that one already. Yeah, cause I can't, I can't, like, I can't, like, bump into this enemy with the barrel, I tried that. Oh! Oh, you motherfuck. Right, I see what I'm supposed to do now, I'm supposed to hit him from behind once the- See, I thought the barrel was gonna blow me past that part, but it only, like, shoots you up a tiny bit into that area, that makes sense. The animation when they're in the wind kind of reminds you of Wario's animation when he's in the wind in Wario Land 3. Um, I don't remember what that looks like actually. I haven't played Wario Land in years, like Wario Land 3. Great game, though. I think that's like the best game in the series. Shit. Right, we are definitely seeing me die more tonight compared to my last stream. Because again, this is where the game starts to really get tough. Like, I'm pretty much committed to 100 percent in this game, so I'm dying mostly because I'm trying to get all the extra shit that I need to finish the game proper. Oh. 
I'd love to see a new Wario Land game at some point, like I feel like we're due for a new Wario Lands. The last one was on the Wii, that was like 10 years ago. At least 10 years ago. The less we talk about the... What was it called? Master of Disguise? The less we talk about that one, the better. That game was not... In my opinion, that was not like a true Wario Land game. That game was kinda garbage. Oh, bullshit. Yeah, there's definitely something in there. There has to be. Yeah, we're due for a lot of things. A new Metroid game, uh, F-Zero, Wave Race. There's a lot of things Nintendo can do right now that they're just not doing. I mean, at least we're getting Metroid Prime 4. I'm talking like another, like... I mean, it wasn't that long ago we got a remake of Samus Returns, which was pretty good, but... I mean, like, a, a new Metroid game, a new 2D one. Not just a remake of, like, a, a Game Boy game. That said, the remake of the Game Boy game was fantastic. That was a, a great game. But I'd love to see, like, a Metroid 6 or 5. What were we up to now for the 2D? Is it Metroid 4 or 5? Like, Metroid Fusion was 4. Did we get one after that? I don't think we did. Remember Metroid Dread? Like, that rumored Metroid game that was apparently real but got cancelled? for some reason. Like, Metroid Dread was like a 2D Metroid, supposedly for the DS. And I think it was like leaked screenshots for it or something, but uh, nothing ever came of it. I think that was supposed to be Metroid 5, so yeah, we haven't had a fifth game officially. DIE! You can't tell me there's nothing over there. There has to be something over there. I just need to be quick on, on the button with that. Like, as soon as I go over to the far left, the screen's going to scroll over and there'll be a bonus battle. But there's no reason why they would put that there. Other than that. You have to be really fucking fast though, like there's very little time to like get over there and hit him before he turns back around. And by the way, if you're wondering why am I randomly jumping after I get hit, the game makes you jump when you get hit. So that's not me jumping, that's the game doing that against my will. Okay, that's... I know you can hit him from behind, I didn't do the tail whip quick enough. Like, I initiated it, but you have to wait like a couple frames before the hitbox appears. So I guess you could say that was my fault then, I might just use Diddy Kong. I think his hitbox, like, his attack hitbox appears more instantly because he's like cartwheeling. Whereas Dixie Kong's got like a wind up animation for our hair whip. But hey, that's just a theory, a game theory. Guess I'll be using Dixie again for this. Can't believe it's taken me this long just to get this one bonus barrel. And there's still one more after this. Wait, why? Why does that not work? Maybe Dixie can't hit him from behind? I know you can hit those, those things from behind, at least I'm 95% sure you can. I'll try it with D Diddy Kong if I can get back there with him.
Yeah. Fucking hell. Wait, is... Okay, the, may, maybe there's not something back there. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty fucking sure I hit him from behind, but apparently that didn't work. I'm just going to go to the end of the stage and get that last bonus battle and see if that was the last one. I'm second-guessing myself now because I'm not even sure anymore if that's where it was. Like that, if there was like three bonus battles or two. But yeah, n never mind. My bad. Yeah, it kind of looked like there was something in there, though. It seemed like a suspicious bit to put a banana there, but whatever. Got the DK coin already. Don't need that. You. Right, we're almost there. I think I know how to approach this this time. I need to draw him back and um wait a minute yeah come over here you there we go better not fuck this up now after that after all of that click the stars oh this one shouldn't be too difficult i've only got 15 seconds though so i gotta be quick oh no we got this Right, so did we get all the coins, I wonder? Okay, turns out that was the last one. I, I kind of wish I'd realised that sooner, but at least I know now. Right, so we haven't even done a castle stage yet. Also, I didn't notice this detail when I was a kid, I just realised it right now. Look in the background, we can see D DK Isle over there. That's a nice detail. I had no idea that was back there this entire time. But yeah, here's the first proper castle stage of this area. Castle music is also great. Castle stages are some of the hardest ones in the game. Like, there's one later on where you have to, like, avoid, like, toxic slime or some shit. So that's gonna be fun. Little secret over here. Gonna need that to get one of the bonus barrels. Or bonus rooms. Again, the atmosphere with like the music in this game is great. wonder if that glitch is still in this game. I think I know the glitch you're talking about. It's like the one that potentially like erases your save file, isn't it? I've never tried it, but I've seen it in action. I'd have to make a save state before I even attempt to try that glitch because I don't want to like erase my entire save file. But yeah, something about like manipulating Rambi and then tricking the game into thinking you've got a, whole, a battle in your hand and then you like fuck the game up somehow. I forgot how it works exactly but I, I know what you're talking about. Again I've seen it in action. It's a weird glitch to look at. Oh 
that's a cool slow down there. Did you see that? Whoa, slow. I didn't think he was going to make that there. Okay, no wonder the game was slow. There was like four more sprites above me. Pushing the hardware to its limits. Here's another little secret. That's fine. I don't really care if I get hit there. So this one's fairly straightforward. Don't get crushed. So yeah, if I felt like it, I could potentially finish this game tonight, but I'm still not entirely sure if I will. Depends on how long it takes me to do these next set of levels. Shit. Thought I could, like, hide there for a second. I think it's faster just to like get crushed here than like wait for that platform to come back up. Because going in there and back out again just resets the platform's movement. Also I didn't realise this until now, but this level's got mode 7 in it. If you look in the background, there's like a wooden pillar that's got like a 3D effect attached to it. That's neat. Never noticed that before. Just when I thought I've seen everything this game has to offer, I noticed new details like that. It's a testament to like just how much love and care and attention went into this game. Where is that? Oh, there it is. I find it funny how the zingers just die by touching the platform, not even getting crushed by it, they just like touch the, the, under, the other side of it, or the top side, and just like die like that. Oh Jesus. I think I'm almost at the end of the stage now. I think I'll need that. Oh shit. I think I done goofed. Wait a minute. I can't jump on this, can I? Nope, I done goofed. Well, shit. You know what that means? I'm gonna have to do the entire fucking level again. Good for me. I did get the Kremlin coins, but I think I missed the DK coins somewhere, so I'm gonna have to look out for that. Thank you. 
fuck. Rambe makes the same noise as the Kremlings do. Shite. Yeah, this one may take a while since it's essentially an auto-scroller, so I'm going to have to try and not die so that it don't take too long to do this. It's like a five minute level. Like, you can't really speedrun or like rush your way through this one just because it goes at its own pace. Alright, oh, that thing. Ah, fuck. Did I hit the checkpoint? I'm not even sure if I did. That fucker. No, I didn't hit the checkpoint. Shit. Yeah, you can see I'm struggling with this one a little bit. Does Rambi still pant like he does in... Like a dog in DKC2? I don't actually know if, if he does. If I find a moment to do so, I can like stand idly and see what happens. Shit. Why do I keep doing that to myself? I threw the D the DK barrel way too early, just so I could like get another buddy. Right, I'll stand here and see what happens. Yeah, not gonna get enough time to stand there. There'll be a moment where I can do that, I think. Nope, not here. Nope, not there either. There may not be a moment where I can test that out. Don't think that's gonna... whatever. Wasn't confident in Rambi's placement there that I wasn't gonna get crushed if I didn't move. Rambi's got a huge hitbox. Yeah, maybe he doesn't do that, who knows? I could test it later in a different area if need be. There isn't really a single spot where I can stand for more than 10 seconds as Rambi. Right. 
Right, at least I hit the checkpoint now, that's good. Thought I saw something there. Oh, what's this? Oh, there it is. Did I get... Quick question. Actually, you know what? I can quit anyway. It's fine. I've got a checkpoint. Right, I did get the Kremlin coins. Good. Somehow I missed that there a couple times, but I got it eventually. Right, here's another ice stage. This time the seal buddy freezes the water for you. Die, but oh, you dick! T fucking body muscle, but shape, and of course, ninja starfish on guard. There we go. We're good now. No, we're not. Okay, we're good. Checkpoint real quick. Okay, so what's down here? Oh, it's just death. Okay then. Sorry, I thought it was a secret down there potentially. Die! Fucking hate those dudes. They just turn up at the worst possible moments to interfere. Oh. Is that the whole level already? That was quick. I missed the DK coin, so I'm gonna have to backtrack. Also missed at least one more Kremlin coin in here. Oh, I see it. I, th I think the bonus is up there. Or the DK coin, I'm not sure what's up there. Somehow I missed that the first time rounds. See those slope, these, see the very steep ice slopes there that you saw just now? They remind me of something. Also, I don't have Dixie Kong, so I can't tag team. I think the DK coin might be up there as well. So, let me do that again. So, the steep, like, singular, like, very steep ice platforms that you saw me jumping on right now kind of remind me of another Rareware game that was on NES called Snake Rattle and Roll. I'm not sure if anyone's ever played that game. It's kind of a cool game, but it's also really fucking hard. But yeah, late in, very late into the game, like near the end of it, you have to like jump on very small like ice platforms. And they kind of look like this, like very steep like ice slopes. 
essentially. Snake Rattle and Roll is quite good. I should stream that sometime to show you, but I don't know if I would like finish it. It's not an easy game. Right, that's everything. Thankfully, those two things were at the very start. Chain Link Chamber. Last climbing stage, I think. Or last climbing focused level. Yep. We're getting toward the, the end of the game, by the way. So I could maybe finish this tonight if I feel like doing a really... This dude right here. Let me show you what he does real quick. So you know how the green ones steal your banana bunches? This dude knocks the extra lives out of your fucking soul. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. So yeah, for casual play, that's kind of a scary enemy because he can just like knock extra lives away from you and you can die before you can grab them back. Anyway, what was I saying there? I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, I could maybe finish this tonight actually. Let me see how long I've been streaming for, 4 hours and 20 minutes. Maybe I'll finish next time, I think I'm going to be wrapping up soon. Could easily take me an hour or two to like do the rest of this game, like the Lost Level shit. The Lost World shit, sorry. Get out of here. Aye! I'll complete this area first and then I'll save the game and then we can do the rest. Because there's like one more area after this but it's a very short one. Oh, uh, good. But yeah, next time I do this, all we've got left is... The final couple levels, King K. Rule, and then the post-game stuff which is the Lost World. So it's not that much content left, but it's the content that will probably take me the longest to get through because the Lost World stuff is really difficult. So yeah, I think I'll save all that for next time. But we can finish up these castle stages within the next 20 minutes, I think. frames actually I just I just disconnected good let me try to fix that real quick yep that's cool you do that internet you do that OBS just make my life difficult, why don't you? One moment. Just quickly test to see if the chat is working, and it's not. Good. Yeah, sorry guys, my internet disconnected again. What a shock. Right, there's the there's a bonus stage. Again, sorry about the chat messages not showing up. Let me get sorry. I forgot to remove that. You didn't miss much there, I just found the cannonball to get into the cannon thing.
I'm noticing some slowdown in this game. I thought we were using emulators. I thought Nintendo were using emulators, rather. It's not a secret in these walls, is there? I'm pretty sure there's like a... Yeah, there is. So, what is that for again, I wonder? I guess for this part. Well, that lasts a while, doesn't it? Just checking the walls real quick. I think there'd be something in there because of, you know, just because it gave you an invincibility thing to get rid of the wasps so you could, like, explore that room, but no, none of the walls have got anything. Right, well, there's the checkpoint. I'm sure there's at least one part of this level where you have to like go through the walls to find like the DK coin or the bo or bonus room. So I'm just like checking certain walls just because I don't remember exactly where it is, but I know it's like somewhere. Oh Jesus! Sneaky. I was thinking to myself, oh, I could just like go under all of that, and then that dude fucking runs at me. Guess I can't just run under all the wasps. There we go. Right, well, there's the DK coin. I knew that was in one of these walls somewhere. That's another well hidden one. Not sure if I found all the bonus rooms. I may have missed one. Or I haven't found it yet. I haven't got to it. Gotta time my jumps so I don't get hit by the wasps. The zingers. You can actually outpace them when you do that, when you go down. Going upwards, you can't really outpace them. Well, you can a little bit, you can do it just a tiny bit. anything inside those little bits there. Oh. I guess I'll finish the stage for now and if I missed anything I can come back for it. I like how Diddy Kong was just standing on top of that chain there right now. Yep, 
Yeah, I missed at least one bonus barrel or bonus door. Right, here we go again. Most of this castle's secrets are hiding in walls. Like this particular castle stage. I mean, quite a few of the castle stages actually have had like secrets in walls. But I think this one has most of its secrets tucked away in walls that you have to like watch out for. I didn't go up this way, did I? Well, check out that slow down. Did, Kong, did, Do uh, did Donkey Kong Country 1 have any slow down? Because I don't remember if it did. I wonder, is there a reason they put that there? Can I blow up a wall here? Ah, oh, shit. Wow, I fell a long while there. Oof. At least I got the checkpoint. Shit. Maybe I'm not supposed to, like, destroy a wall with that. So I was thinking maybe like that wall or this wall has a door on it if I like bring the box to it. Maybe not. Actually, I'm going to try something real quick. I might die a couple times doing this. Yeah, like that for example. Just making absolute sure that I didn't miss anything. Ah, it's actually harder to go down than it is to go up. Again, these lives that I'm these lives that I'm losing right now is just more so me experimenting, like figuring things out. Maybe if I get rid of these wasps and bring that box down, I can destroy one of those walls there. Maybe. Okay, yeah, there's definitely nothing there. Just wanted to make sure. You never know with this fucking game. Oh, Jesus. Wait, where's my DK barrel? Oh, there is. waste. 
sorry if it appears that I'm wasting a lot of time. I mean, technically I am. I'm just feeling all the walls in cases like some little secret tucked away that I don't quite remember where it is. Again, most of the secrets here are like inside walls. Right, I guess I'll go this way then. Yeah. I'll figure this out eventually. I'm gonna quickly do a test to see if my chat is working again. Right, it is. Yeah, it takes about five minutes to fix that. DK barrel would be nice right about now. Thank you. Shit. That's what I get for trying to figure things out there. That bit to the right there looks suspicious, but I think that's just part of the level aesthetic. Uh, can't fucking properly place myself where I need to. And I'm trying. Trying to get in there. Fuck off. Oh, Jesus. Nope. Why can't I do that? Nah! Uh. Definitely nothing in those corners. Can't believe I'm still missing this. I'm still looking around. Nope, nothing over there. Again, not that these things matter because, like, the, the guys that keep knocking extra lives out of me don't matter. Oh, gee. Because I have so many lives. Oh yeah, imagine if they knocked out blue balloons. I thought there might have been something down there. Shit, I tried to cartwheel and jump.
Well, I've reached 99 banana coins at this point in the game. Is this, is this bonus barrel I'm looking for in the first or the second half of the stage? Because I'm not sure what half of the stage I'm looking for. Assuming that you know of this one, Green. Because this is another one of those moments where I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Because I know all the secrets are like hiding in the walls in this level and I'm still... I, I still can't find this one. I found the DK coin quicker than I found the second secret area. I've been in that one. Actually, you know what I could do? I could use Dixie to gradually fall down rather than just like plummet like a rock. That kind of works. Oh yeah, here's the part with the invincibility, isn't it? Or not? Oh no, it's the next part. Yeah, I found the DK coin already. I guess that bit over there is for the other side of this, like, climbing part. I'm hoping it's in the second half of the level because I'm going to get the checkpoint there. Again, the extra, the, the invincibility in this game lasts a really goddamn long time. Not that I'm complaining, it's just weird when the game actually gives you that much time for, like, invincibility. It's not up there, is it? Nope. Could have been an invisible barrel there. <gasps> Shit! Nothing over there. Waste of my time. But yeah, I got the DK coin, it was over here. Wait, there isn't something over to the left, is there? Hang on. Let me climb up a little bit and I'll try that. I see. Right, okay. I didn't even know there was a door behind those two. I'm surprised that took me as long as it did to realise that. See, in the back of my mind, I knew it was something to do with those two guys, but I didn't remember it was in there. I eventually figured that one out. 
Right, so that should be everything there. Yep, that's everything. Fantastic. Right, so let me just... I don't really need to use Kong College, I'll just make a suspend point. Oops. Right, here we go, final castle stage before the end of this area. This one is tough. It's slime climb all over again, except this shit actually hurt you. Ah, shit. Here we go again. something down here. Yep, there's the DK coin. Don't remember how many uh, Kremlin coins are in this area. I think maybe like two. Shit. Ah, oh, fuck, what did I do? Oh, what? I, I can't. No. I didn't even realize there was a secret in there. I wasn't trying to go in. I didn't hit the checkpoint, so I've got to do all that again. Thankfully, there is a checkpoint on this one. Imagine doing this entire stage without a checkpoint system. <sighs> oh, you motherfuck. I wish Nintendo would do more with the Kremlings because ever since Nintendo took full ownership of like the Donkey Kong series, they've done kind of like jack shit with Kremlings, like they've been making like new characters and shit. It's not like the Rareware owns the Kremlings, like that's like Nintendo stuff now, like they own that wholesale. But uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze was like, it was like Scandinavian like winter-like creatures, like penguins and walruses and shit, and then the one before that I think was like tribal masks or something, like Crash Bandicoot masks being the villains. But yeah, if they make a new Donkey Kong game at some point, I'd like to see the Kremlings return. But that, that could easily be like a big selling point for a lot of people. It's like, oh cool, the Kremlings are back and King K. Rool is back as well. I mean, what's stopping them from doing that? Oh, there's the checkpoint. Right, okay. <laughs> kind of rushing this a little bit. That wasn't worth it. Something tells me I may have went past it. I probably did. NG. Quite a lengthy level, this one. Some extra lives, not that it matters. Something tells me I need to tag team to get up there. You know what? I'll start again from the checkpoint. Yeah, the last one's probably up there. I need to retain the Dixie Kong for that. Oh, 
Thankfully the squitter part is very short. Like you'd think there'd be like another two minutes of like using squitter, but it's not. Just like one small segment and then that's it. Like, they kinda give you mercy there after like all the shit you do beforehand. I'm gonna take my time with this so I don't like mess up here. Also, this part's kind of annoying. It's like you've got one, then one, two, and then you've got one, two, three. And they just like really slow you down and get that toxic to catch back up with you. Like they do that to stall you. Right, we're almost there. Wait, there's nothing up there? Okay then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go back into that and look again. I guess I probably went by it at some point. Boss is up there, but we're not ready for that yet. Once I'm done with this area, we'll do the boss and then we'll save. DK coin in this one was fairly straightforward. I mean, you could easily miss it, but I had a feeling it was down there. <sighs> I know it's not down over there, that's just like banana coins and bananas. Banana coin. Right, it was probably the second half of the stage then. I probably flew past it without realizing. So I may lose a couple lives here just like feeling around the walls and shit looking for it, so. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, bear with me while I explore and, or at least try to explore within the confines this toxic filling room. Oh, there it is. Oh no, that's not it. Shit. I thought I found it there for a second. Good. It's probably just one Kremlin coin sitting somewhere that I'm not seeing. Yeah, I'll take that shortcut there, that'll let me go back up. That'll make me, like, get further up the tower quicker. Why am I doing that? There's no reason for me to go in there, I'm already a, a squawks.
I'm just like mindlessly feeling the walls because I'm not sure where this is. It might be hiding where Squix is actually. Yeah, it might be in here. Oh shit. Ah, fuck. Not enough time. I took, I took too long. I'll try to get up there as quickly as possible, then look around the squicks. It may be behind that wasp that I saw on the wall. We're almost there. Die, you dick! Time now to check this last room. Yeah, there's a secret there. God damn it. Why do you do this to me, Rareware? I thought that one one B there was kinda suspicious. Better not fail this now. Squicks don't fail me now. There we go. 57. I'm hoping that's it. Only one way to find out. Let's see if the exclamation mark shows up next to this level's name. I like how the, the toxic recedes after you leave the level. Yep, that's it. Excellent. Right, so I guess now it's time for the boss fight, Stronghold Showdown. So you're probably wondering who the boss of this one is. Turns out there's no boss fight here, we found him. So there we go, we finished the game, I hope you enjoyed it. Nope, obviously that's not the end. There's more. There's King K. Rule in his battleship. So this is where I'm going to stop for now, there's like a couple more levels before King K. Rule, but I think it'd be best if I save this till next time, because there is quite a tricky level coming up and then it's the final boss, and then after that I've still got the Lost World to do, and then the real final boss. So I could probably do all that next time, so we will kind of just like leave it in suspense here, and we will finish this probably like next week or like over the weekend, I think I could do this early next week. So yeah, I'm looking forward to wrapping this up.